What happens after death to those not united to Christ by faith? Welcome back to the New City Catechism. Pastor Jeremy here, and today we're jumping into question number 28. What happens after death to those not united to Christ by faith? Let's talk about that. So we're jumping into a challenging topic today, talking about hell. Talking about what happens after death to those not united to Christ by faith. They'll be cast out of the presence of God into hell to be justly punished forever. Now that sounds like terrible news. So let's look at the Gospel of John, chapter 3, verses 16 through 18, and verse 36 as well, to see what Scripture has to say about what happens to those after death who are not united to Christ by faith. So get out your Bibles and let's look together. John 3, 16 through 18 says this, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And then the end of the chapter, verse 36, says this, Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever does not obey the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God remains on him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's pray. God, I pray that you would direct our hearts and minds to see clearly what your word has to say, to give us a passion and a love to tell other people about you because of the real problem of sin in the world and the need for it to be punished. God, help us to see that today. It's your name we pray, amen. What do we learn in these verses about God? What can we see here in John 3 that teaches us about God? First, we know that God is loving. For God so loved the world. This is a declaration of who God is, a part of his character, that God is loving. You're probably wondering, if we're talking about hell, how can we also be talking about a loving God? Well, look at the next thing we learn about God, that he sent his son to pay the penalty for you and for me, to pay the penalty for sin. That through Jesus... There now is a means for salvation. Why did that happen? Because of God's love. And lastly, we see here in these verses that we learn about God, that God will give his people eternal life. God is loving. God sent his son to die in our place. And God gives eternal life to his children. These are great things to know about God. But these are only good news because there is bad news. You see, you can't have one without the other. Otherwise, it's all just news. So what's the bad news here? What's the difficult news that we read in these verses? Well, even right here in verse 16, it explains that those who are not united to Christ by faith will perish. Now, you might think that that means die, but it means bigger. it's bigger than that. It means separation from God, to be eternally separated from the presence of God. And for those not united to Christ by faith, who believe in Jesus as God, who came in the flesh and paid the penalty for our sins, the punishment for sin is death. And because God is perfect, he cannot be in the presence of sin. So the punishment for our sin is separation away and apart 
from God. Now that may not seem at first like a punishment necessarily because after all there are people all throughout the world and all throughout history who ignore God. But we're not really separated from God. God is all-powerful, God is all-knowing, and God is also everywhere. See, hell wasn't part of the original creation when we look back at Genesis, but instead we see it's a place that's created because of the rebellion of the angels and the entrance of Lucifer, the devil, to entice and tempt mankind as well into sin. So it exists as a place apart from God where punishment for sin is enacted. And we see that here in verse 18. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. To be condemned here is to have the wrath of God remain on you. And what that means is our sin condemns us. Our sin says we are guilty, that we have broken God's law. And if we're a lawbreaker, there's a punishment for breaking that law. And so here's what this means. For people who live in this life, who go about their day pretending that God doesn't exist or ignoring the existence of God and ignoring the truth of God's word, they will be eternally separated from God. Why? Because their sin demands punishment. If they're not found united to Christ by faith, they stand, as Romans 3.18 says, they stand condemned. Look at Romans 3.36 again. Here's what that says. Whoever believes in the Son has what? Eternal life. Whoever does not obey the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God remains on him, the punishment of God for our sin. So the bad news, the bad news that's hard to hear is that those who are not united to Christ by faith will be separated forever from God as they are punished for their sin. But, but God being rich in love and mercy has made a way for salvation. The good news of John 3.16 rings so beautifully true. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him, Jesus, shall not perish, will not be separated from God, but will have eternal life. And we see that in Romans too. What can separate us from the love of God in Christ? Nothing, nor height, nor depth, nor things to come, nor things that have happened, or anything can separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ. Friends, thank you so much for joining us as we've looked at this challenging question. What does it mean to look through scripture and see what the punishment of God means for those who are not united to Christ by faith? May we pray for those who are not yet believers who do not yet see Jesus as their Lord. And may we go proclaiming the good news that Jesus Christ has come and died and rose again so that we might have eternal life. Thank you again, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.